The Orbetello Lagoon is located in the south of Tuscany along the main birds migration routes in Europe and it is a very important wetland providing vital resting and breeding sites for many species of birds. Designated as wetland of international importance, Ramsar Convention, the oasis of Orbetello shows many habitats, salty lagoon, sand dunes, Mediterranean meckes, woodland of aspen, cork oak, ash, elm and heather. Orbetello is famous for its bird population. The lagoon attracts each year around 300 species of birds, among which flamingos and it is the only breeding site of the common tern and little tern along the Tyrrhenian coast. The term lagoon is derived from the Italian laguna and is a shallow body of water separated from a larger body of water by barrier islands, coastal lagoons, or coral reef, atoll lagoons. They are usually connected to the open ocean by inlets between barrier islands. Indeed, the water of a coastal lagoon has some degree of salinity. The number and size of the inlets, precipitation, evaporation and inflow of fresh water all affect the nature of the lagoon. Coastal lagoons are common and form where coast gently slope and barrier islands or reef develop offshore. They do not form along a steep or rocky coast, or if the range of tide is more than 4 meters. They are sensitive to changes in sea level due to climate change. A relative drop in sea level may leave a lagoon largely dry, while a rise in sea level may let the sea breach or destroy barrier islands and leave reefs too deep underwater to protect the lagoon. Coastal lagoons tend to accumulate sediments from uh, in flowing uh, rivers, uh, runoff from the shores of the lagoon, sediments carried into the lagoon by the tide or storm waves. Plant or benthic organisms may stabilize or destabilize the sediments, and coastal lagoons may be short-lived in geological terms. The Quercus super Cork oak is an evergreen tree native to southwest Europe and northwest Africa, easily found in the Mediterranean area. Its thick insulating bark contains high levels of suberin, and it may have been an evolutionary answer to forest fires. Plants live about 150 to 250 years, and cork can be harvested every 7 to 10 years to produce wine bottle stoppers, insulation panels, and for handicraft and artistic uses. Cock harvesting is handmade in order not to harm the tree. Plants grow new layer of cork, making it a renewable resource.